Hey guys, and welcome to the Hughes Compound Southern Command office. I picked up two of these from Amazon. They're $59. They are the TMAC 1900 that you can hack into. That's a real one. The RTAC 68U and run a gigabit network that is also capable of the AI mesh. I'm doing it now. I'm going to talk to you about the AI mesh and how to set it up. If you do want a video on hacking the 1900 into a 68 or the RTAC 68U like I did, it was I had a little bit of a challenge with it. But if you're interested in that, I'll do a video on that also. Just let me know in the comments. Start by clicking AI Mesh and then save. You're gonna get a progress bar. It's gonna to go to 100%. And once it's done, you're gonna get that, well, this screen here. And if you reload the page, you're gonna get how to configure your router, but we're not gonna do any of that. Instead, what we're gonna do is you go to your main router. Yes, I'm blocking out my WAN IP address. And you click the AI Mesh and then you click search. Now you can see I already have one node there and it's going to show you the second node and then you're going to just click on it to select it to join your network and it's going to go through another progress bar for starting slowly. It's going to go up to 100% and I'll fast forward through that so you don't have to see it. So fast forward to 100% and here it's showing uh, the connectivity of it, just clicking through. Now you do have some options with it. You can rename it. You have the option to click and select a name. I'm going to call it Attic since I'm putting in my rafter space right now. Uh, there's nothing connected to it. But later in the video, you'll see that there's a bunch of things connected because I'm going to decommission the other uh, just wirelessly connected mesh router that I set up yesterday. And it shows you the devices connected to it and the speed, which is kind of nice. You can see that there's two nodes on my, my net, boy, I can't say, my mesh network. So this is where I have it sitting up in the rafter space. I just temporarily put it up there uh, with a board, uh, two by four and some clamps to see how it was gonna work. And again, I'm blocking out my WAN IP address. So here you see it configured with all of the other devices connected to it. It seems like I've got super good coverage. Now there's more information here. You can select hardwired ethernet as opposed to a Wi-Fi mesh network, in other words, wireless only node. And again, it's showing all of the devices that are connected and the speeds at which they're connected. So that's pretty much it for setup and configuration. Uh, you just click on from the main screen, the AI mesh network, and then Click search and then add the notes and that sets your network up. You can, there's also a delete, you can click remove a node. So far everything is working exceptionally well and I have an acre and a quarter of property. I walked around the entire property and was able to play a YouTube video from the fence line. If you would like to see how I hacked the T-Mobile AC1900 into a fully functional ASUS RT-AC68U capable of mesh networking, please leave a message in the comment. At this time, I'd like to thank my patrons. That's Andy Meows, John Hollinger, Umar Seer, Matt Champ, Token, boy, Token Linux guy, thanks Tom, and 
Ian Fox, who's Ian from Calgary. Thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please go to flyingrich.com. Take a look at my social media from there on flyingrich.com. You can find my Patreon page, and I just ask for a $1 a month support, and I greatly appreciate it, and I appreciate your input. Let me know what you think of the video, and you'll find tips and tricks on how to save money and do interesting things.